and we're back to learning GIMP and this time I'm going to show you how to create a swirl effect. This is quickly done and it works with any photo. Let us copy this one, I'll rename it. Copy is active in my layers menu and I go to filters, distorts and I use this one, whirl and pinch. It may take some time when you check the preview button. So when you use a very big photo, it needs a lot of processing time. But we can get through this as the menu is quite simple. The pinch, it only has a minor adjustment. Most important is the whirl, which simply gives it a bigger spin or a smaller spin depending on what value you use. And the radius, if you go down, you will have to swirl much more in the center part. And if you increase the radius, it's going to get bigger. And for our effect, we want to have both values very high. Well, let me just click on OK. It takes a little bit of time. But here's our swirl, and this was the original. As I've said, it works with any photo, and it's quickly done. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.